So what exactly is Lovable? Well, on their website, they build themselves as your superhuman full stack engineer. But what does that mean to no coders like me? Well, basically you can write a good prompt where you describe what you want to build and where you describe your requirements in plain English. And Lovable will interpret all of this to turn your idea into reality. In other words, it'll do all of the coding for you. This is fantastic because it makes it much easier to build tools and sites and even apps. You can try Lovable for free, but if you want to build the type of website that I'm showing you in this video, then you'll need to take out a starter subscription. That's what I did and it cost me $20 per month. Now you can build your website with Lovable and if you use the publish link, they'll give you a URL so you can view it on the web. So in other words, you can build your website and try it for free. But to be honest, if you're happy with your site, you're probably going to want to pick up a custom domain. So I headed over to Namecheap and I got one for my website for a little over $10. And for this type of website, I used Netlify to host it. Again, you can use the free version of Netlify to build one simple website. But if you're going to do a few of them, you're probably going to upgrade to Pro and that's going to cost you $19. Now, trust me, as somebody who's built a lot of websites on WordPress, this is all pretty affordable and cheap. Some of my WordPress hosting bills have cost me hundreds of dollars per month for some of my bigger sites. Before you write your prompt, it's a good idea to spend a little bit of time thinking about what you want to build, what you want the website to look like, and how you would like AI to do all of this for you. So I've been training for a triathlon recently, and one thing triathletes like is figuring out how much carbs they need to consume to fuel themselves on bikes and runs, and how much fluids they should drink. And I spent a lot of time browsing various calculators and tools online. So what I said to myself, why not build my own? So I started by heading over to ChatGPT. And I wanted ChatGPT to help me to write a good prompt for Lovable. So I explained to ChatGPT that I want to create a carb fueling guide for triathletes based on races. And I asked it to improve this prompt. It was a pretty boring generic prompt. So ChatGPT gave me an improved actionable prompt that I could use. And then I thought to myself that maybe I should actually specify that this should be an interactive website, not a piece of content. So ChatGPT refined my prompt into something that I could use for Lovable. Now I may have a couple of other little tweaks for things I wanted to see on the website that are specific to this niche or niche. Then I made a few little tweaks to the prompt by editing the copy and the requirements so it matched up with what I wanted. Before we go any further, I've crafted 101 prompts which you can use for ChatGPT, Claude, and even Lovable. It's free, and if you want to get it, I've included the link in the video description. Basically, I spent 10 or 15 minutes refining my prompt inside of ChatGPT and making sure it had all of my requirements. Now, it helped that I knew the niche or niche and what I wanted to see on the site. And I went back over to Lovable and I pasted in the prompt. And Lovable told me it was going to create a beautifully designed website for triathletes and it explained all of the things it was going to include. And if you look on the right hand sidebar, you can see all of the code that Lovable wrote for me. And again, I'd emphasize that although I've built websites and know a little bit of HTML and CSS, I'm not a coder and have no interest in learning how to code. I simply wanted to be, see if I could use this AI tool to create something useful for my next race. So Lovable spent about five or six minutes creating this particular website and it even came up with a visual identity for it. And I was able to preview an early version of the site, which I was pretty happy with. So I liked the color scheme and branding. And I actually kept this for the final version. Now I didn't like the name that I came up with and it was missing a top menu bar as well as some supporting pages with additional content on the site. However, I was really surprised by the tools that Lovable came up with. So if you're unfamiliar with triathlon, there are four different popular race types, sprint, Olympic, half, and Ironman. And each of these differ in terms of intensity and how many carbs you'll need to consume to complete them. And Lovable was able to recognize all of this and come up with a fueling strategy that I could use for each one of these distances based on my weight, how long I intend to race for, my experience level, and race intensity. And I thought this was fantastic because usually I spend a lot of time Googling this online or writing down what I need to eat by hand. So this was a real time saver for me. And Lovable even coded the site so it had some recommended carb sources that I could refer to. And I put a nice little FAQ at the bottom of the page. 
Now clearly there were some things missing from these, this niche or niche calculator, but I was really happy with the first version. I spent another hour or so reprompting Lovable to fix some things on the site. So I asked it to update the footer. I asked it to add some additional content and build out the calculators some more. I also came up with some keywords that I wanted to include on the site so it could potentially be found by Google and other search engines later on. And again, I was able to preview each of the versions that Lovable created. Now Lovable is a pretty new tool. So sometimes I did encounter build issues and I did have to reprompt Lovable to rebuild parts of the site again. So you can see here one of the prompts where I asked it to retry. Lovable also created some companion pages or blog posts on the site. And I asked it to expand each of these pages by 600 to 800 words. So as you can see, it went backwards and forwards within this type of conversation with Lovable several times. Now I found I got better results when I provided more specific information to Lovable. So for example, I came up with specific guidelines about how many carbs a triathlete should consume. I also put in additional information about things I would have liked to have seen on the resources pages based on what I know about training for a triathlon. One thing I didn't do was draw out a wireframe and find some visual images that I could use to train Lovable. That's because you can attach images into Lovable and ask it to read the images if you have a particular aesthetic or design concept you wanted to follow. So I spent an hour or two prompting Lovable and here is a later version of the site. So as you can see, I changed the uh, name of the site and we also built out a top menu that has diet basics for triathletes, training supplements, race supplements, a race day checklist, which I was able to tick off and also some race nutrition tips. So I started to build this out into something that I would really find useful. I also asked it to update the footer so it would link to Fitter Habits, which was a niche or niche website I built a few years ago. Once I had a version of the site I was relatively happy with, I started to think what other features could I add? So I asked ChatGPT what types of calculators would be useful for triathletes. And ChatGPT suggested a sweat rate calculator, carbohydrate calculator, which we already have, a race nutrition planning tool, and an electrolyte needs estimator. Now you don't need to know what all of these things are, but suffice to say they are useful if you are training for a race. Lovable was able to add them pretty easily into a later version of my site. This type of thing would have taken me hours and hours to learn how to code or thousands of dollars to hire somebody on Upwork. So again, here's the sweat rate calculator. I could put in my pre-exercise weight, my post-exercise rate, fluid consumed, exercise duration, and so on. And it even provided some scientific resources uh, showing people what this sweat rate calculator is based on. If I go to the electrolyte calculator, it works pretty much the same way. And again, I can adjust this by duration, body weight, and it will calculate my electrolyte needs in a nice, visually pleasing looking table at the bottom of the page. And there was even some tips about what I could consume or drink to make sure I was getting enough electrolytes or enough water to stay hydrated. I spent a little bit of time making sure the calculators were useful and just right. And then I asked Lovable to get the site ready so it will be indexable on Google. I gave it a few keywords that I wanted the site to rank for. I asked it to create an SEO sitemap and also add some meta tags to the site and clean up the navigation. And I also gave it a tracking script so I could track the analytics on the site if people started to use it. If all of this sounds like quite a lot, remember it only took me an hour or two to build this site. And previously if I was to do this without AI, it would have cost me a lot of money or a lot of time. I also asked Lovable to source some quotes from famous triathletes that we could add to the home page and to improve the visual look of the fact on the home page. Once I was happy with the calculators, I spent a little bit of time building out the triathlon packing checklist. So I asked Lovable to improve the design and I gave it some specific examples explaining what I wanted. And I also asked Lovable to turn this checklist into something that users could download. Because let's face it, you're not gonna be looking at a website when you're getting ready for a race. And Lovable was able to code the site so that users could download a PDF checklist. So here's the PDF checklist, which you could quickly refer to on the notes app on your phone or even print out. Once I was happy with the design of the site, I spent about 10 minutes researching domain names and I came up with mytriathloncalculator.com. I picked this up for a little over $10 on Namecheap. Then I headed back over to Lovable and I clicked on the GitHub bu button to push all of the code to GitHub. And then it only took me a few minutes to map Netlify, which was my hosting provider, to GitHub, and also to map the domain name to the site on Netlify. 
So all in all, I spent about two or three hours building this triathlon calculator website. This is something that I've wanted to build for quite a while, but I've never really had the time or the financial resources. Now there are some changes or improvements that I'd like to make to the site. So although there's a downloadable PDF for a race day checklist, it would be great to combine all of the calculators and race day checklists into a simple downloadable PDF that users could download. And perhaps if I built this out, I could even connect my site to Stripe and turn it into a real viable business. That said, if you want to visit My Triathlon Calculator, it's live right now, head over to mytriathloncalculator.com and I've been pretty happy with the results and it's given me lots of great ideas for micro sites or micro niche or niche sites and tools that I could potentially build. Do you have questions about using Lovable? Are you using these AI tools to turn your ideas into reality? Let me know in the comments section below. If you found this video helpful, I've crafted 101 prompts which you can use to get better results from AI. I'll include a link in the description for this video. Make sure you download it if you want to get more value from these tools.